July 11th, we are walking through the jungle here. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Lots of bushes, lots of down logs. But uh, this is what the trail is going to look like today. So kind of the jungle section here for about 10 miles. We already ran into a southbounder who was kind of lost, um, but steered to the right direction and just uh, bushwhacking through. Lots of raspberries on the trail today. Bear food. Bear food or people food, snack food. They just are not quite ripe yet. They're pretty hard, but they're coming up. What do you think of the raspberry? Juicy. Juicy. Some natural ones growing off the raspberry bushes. Just trying to find them. The ripe ones, that is. Those ones that will be ready in like two weeks or something. Uh -huh. yep. Something like that. We'll be in Oregon. It'll be fixed clean by the hikers, that's for sure. <laughs> All sorts of interesting flowers today. Tons of down trees. Got a nice bridge, Grider Creek. Some good flowing water. And there's the trail. so many down logs is when there's a, we're kind of walking through a burn area so all the trees are burnt and then that allows the sunlight there's no foliage so the sunlight goes through so lots of shrubbery is able to just green grow through make the trail pretty get overgrown pretty fast before those trees can regrow again um, and also since with all the fires there's lots of just down trees everywhere probably went over at least 50 already, but I think it's gonna get better here. And I actually saw a trail maintenance vehicle parked at one of the crossings, so the road crossings. So maybe they're, they're out cutting some trees and um, just a nice day uh, across the mini stream. Definitely uh, slipped a little bit, but it uh, felt nice. Got a little, got a little wet, so that's good. And um, yeah. Sun so you did the PCT and took Sunny with you? I did. On the PCT? Yeah. He was young then. He's 25 now. Aww. The horse that does the PCT is a horse of mine. And now he helps with trail maintenance stuff? Well, I live in Cyan. Oh, okay. We're headed. Awesome. And so we'll be down tonight. We're trying to get to the middle part. We did the bottom. Uh, three and a half miles, and now we're doing the top three and a half miles, and so probably some. Sunny. <laughs> mm. sunny. The trail looks good though, coming from the from that bridge so yeah. far, but it was pretty bad up earlier. I know, and so a, bad. Um, another a crew of backcountry horsemen are coming in on the weekend, uh, and they're gonna cut that out. So you got here just a little. Just a sunny. little. Appreciate what you do, I'll tell you that. We do. Well, Bill has been working this trail for almost 50 years that you're going to wow. see oh. here with the saw. Uh -huh. And Rebecca, who's with him, is new this year and she wants to see how you do it. Oh, okay. And she was just telling him that there was a really awkward log up there. She and another gal came by uh -huh. and um, there was a bowed log and she said, We didn't know how to deal with that. So. <laughs> so um, so she came back today and Bill's down there showing her right now and I was going to inch ahead with the horses and join up with them so Bill didn't have to carry the saw back. Oh, that's nice of you. There's, there's a number of places where I'll stand and I'll say, wow, I know where the trail goes. If I didn't know, I have no idea. <laughs> and, and, and then it's like the, a, a snag patch. I'll stop somewhere and tie up something and says, what are you going to do? I said, oh, I'm going to go cut the logs around the corner. Go cut the logs. And they go, how do you know there's logs over there? Is there snags? 20, 2016, the perfect Whoa! It's a pretty good bridge. Mm -hmm. It's got some water from this beautiful river. Stopping here for lunch.
The water is a flowing. All is well. right next to a river. Made it to said valley and we're camped. I actually really like it. Um, it's actually a guy's property. He said he just bought it last year and opened it up to hikers. So my tent's set up and uh, under a nice little tree. There's a river nearby, just jumped in, felt amazing. Um, pretty hot day and just river was nice and cool. Middle of the forest, yeah, little home. Like, um, you forgot to, you have to, to replace the battery, but it has all like all everything you need. Inside the refrigerator and really living off the land here. Yeah, it's like in the middle of the forest. Birdhouse. The guy who owns this yeah, land is trying to build stuff more. and. Uh, cute little cabin and just lots of land out here. I love it. Definitely want to build something like this. Mosquito proof. You, know, you got your bug spray still. Yeah, we're going outside. Yes. And then I'm going to look at this little room. Got a refrigerator. And a nice little bedroom, table, kitchen. It's like a tiny home, legit. Tiny house. It's a tiny house, and it's chicky! Yay! Yay it's like reunion. the <laughs> third time we met, which is awesome. <laughs> Just the trail, you run into everyone, and yeah. there you go.